Hey guys, all I can say is, what the flip? How could the Eagles freaking lose to the freaking Detroit Lions, whose record is 1-3? One 1-3. And three? One and three. I mean, seriously, our defense was like non-existent. Yeah, we made a few good plays, we had a couple sacks, and a fumble recovery. We couldn't get the ball in the end zone either. We had, uh, what, two, maybe two touchdowns the whole game? And, like, two field goals or something like that. We lose 24 to 23. One freaking point. One. And thank you, Ryan Matthews, for what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, you get a touchdown. Oh, uh, that amount to win? No. Did amount to anything? No. Just points. But you fumble the ball when the game is on the line. You don't fumble, we win. You don't fumble, we win. Yes, I said it twice. You had the ball on the inside. You hold the ball on the outside. I don't know what else to say. I just said when you fumbled that, I said, you shouldn't have given it to him. Give it to Sproles, who's been ripping off the field the whole game, or throw the ball to Aguilar, to Beckham, to Matthews, to Ertz, or throw it to Sproles, if you had to throw it to Sproles and not hand it off. Seriously. It doesn't work. I don't. I didn't like Jordan Matthews, but I like Matthew, Jordan Matthews fine. Now Ryan Matthews is public enemy number one. Get him out. Sit him. Bench him. He's probably still hurt from whatever his injury was that kept him out. Get him out of there. Don't put him in situations like that. Because he will screw you over. The refs, not the greatest, but we got a lot of penalties. That screws over too. But now we have Carson Wentz, who threw his first interception of the whole year and our last chance. I don't blame him at all. Not a great play call. They're the Bears and yeah, work on those play calls. They make a good challenge though. But Matthews, sit. But Pearson, tell him to sit on the bench and don't get off the bench till he tells you to get off the bench. Which should be never telling him to get off the bench unless you're up by at least 24 points, 25 points, I don't care what. Anything from 25 up points you can get off the bench. Because you're not worth blowing a game for us. It's not worth it. It's pointless to put you in in those kind of situations where the game is on the freaking line. Don't put him in. Because that is what happens. Just happen today and see what can happen. If he can try to change what he's doing wrong, then maybe he'd be good. But right now, no. Put him on the bench. Put Smallwood in. For all I care, he knows what he's doing. He's a rookie. Keith Sproles in there. Barner in there. I mean, anybody's better than what Ryan Matthews showed today. Freaking losing a freaking 1-3 team. What, what the hell is that? So, that's my rant. Now we're freaking 1-3. Or three and one. They better win next week. That's all I'm saying. Okay, guys, like the video, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.